Good morning from beautiful Silverton, San Juan's. We are at the Ice Lake Trail. <sighs> it's barely started and I can't breathe. Um, this trail has been on my bucket list for a long, long time. Um, don't think I've been in shape enough. I'm hoping I am now. Um, so and is the name of the game. We got lucky. That's supposed to be a 60% chance of rain today. Dropped to zero. So I can just take my time. I'm not trying to beat a one o'clock storm anymore. So, so instead, the sad thing is I don't feel real hot. Um, one of the reasons I don't race like trail runs is I have a very sensitive stomach to like anxiety or excitement. So I've been pretty sick this morning because this has been on my list for so long. So I'm just gonna settle in, pole pole, nice and slow to get started as we head up. Here we go. Mm -hmm. wanted to attempt it this is why he couldn't had this all come crashing down I think it was an avalanche or mudslide not sure right just had to cross there figured it out I'll insert I was filming vertically, uh, and then I put it down to help him out. Uh, we made it. It was his first log crossing, and it's a pretty loud waterfall, so I'm pretty proud of him. Then we got some dude running up this thing that I'm barely moving up. But, uh, whoo! Let's go, guys. Keep coming! So I don't have my breath because of the altitude and the climbing, but even if I did, gosh, my breath would be gone. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Really, really really wish this translated on camera so steep so steep that up there is where we're going I've heard the last mile and a half is brutal so I make it on probably 45 minutes to an hour per mile just based on the altitude for me. So, here we go. Again, I wish I could transfer how incredibly steep this is. <sighs> I've just been suffering in silence without recording. Last mile it was a brutal. And we have another one to go. Last one was a 50 minute mile. That's how hard. 50 minutes.
But it's cold. Flat, fool you. We're going up there. Whew. Have you ever, ever seen something so beautiful? So hard, so hard. We're at like 12,000 feet, y'all. That's slick rock. Let's go. Believe it or not, this is the trail. We made it, we made it. We are freaking made it. I didn't think we were gonna, honestly. Where are you going? Come on, this way. <laughs> so this right here is five years. Five years in the making. I really didn't think I was gonna make it up that last section. It was rough, it was really, really hard. But I did. Five years of training, of heading over injuries, of weather windows not permitting, and today, today we made it. Today we made it. Might be the most picturesque place you've played with a rock, but. sharing the lake but everybody left so now it's just me and Fiends, the goat, and this lovely rock. Oh, it's a beast to get up here.
cinematic sweep. Now you can see how steep this is. This is what we came up, y'all. All right, so it is like 10.30. I spent about an hour and a half at the lake. Headed back down. Um, I never really like look around when I'm coming up because I'm suffering. So I'm just gonna cruise, nice slow pace down and enjoy, but definitely if you want the lake to yourself, come early. Um, as I've been leaving, I've passed seven people already. So I think once like that 10.30 mark hits, you're not getting the lake to yourself. But I have it. Whoops, foos, buddy, it's on your eel. It's on your eel. I had it all to myself. So, whew. We've got some really rocky downhill that I'm not looking forward to. But we'll just go slow. And we're slow. I mean, seriously. Does it get any prettier? This is like my nemesis right now, though. So, slow and steady. To reiterate that this is the trail. A waterfall. <laughs> it's wild. It is wild to me. I'm actually thankful for the rocks here. Otherwise, we'd all look like this. I'll be honest, when we did this section coming up, I was not looking forward to going down. My nausea was actually really bad coming up, so I only ate breakfast and I could not get anything down on the way up. So you can tell we dropped about a thousand feet because my stomach growling and I felt like some sour patch kids. So that's what we're eating. And back into the trees we go. We're actually above tree line for a lot of this. Um, probably about half and half actually. So um, it's gonna feel good to get in the shade. And uh, got one more tricky down section. That was tricky coming up. So it'll probably be tricky going down. And then I think we're back to packed dirt. So probably another mile and then packed dirt. Cause I'm not used to all of these like um, roots. Oh my God, Michelle, roots. And when I get tired, I don't lift my feet as much. So I'm like lifting, lifting. Water source number like 12,000 for the fiends. So I was a typical Arizona girl. And even though I knew there was supposed to be lots of water, I carried six liters. Um, I'm only about two liters down. <laughs> because there's been so much water for fiends. So that said, I think depending on the time of year, but there's a lot of snow melt and there's been a ton of rain. So there's so much water. I have my Sawyer squeeze, so I could have easily gotten away with two liters, done my squeeze, filtered some water and been good. Um, so those who are doing ice likes, people don't lie. There's so many water sources. So carry your water. My dog was fine, like fiends was fine. Um, He's barely drank out of my hose and only because he likes drinking out of my hose and not the lake and the water. But yeah, like your feet are going to get wet. You're going to be through water a lot. So lots of water sources. You don't need to bring any. I would bring some water. I mean, not as much as if you're an Arizona girl like me. Okay. Let me hold up and fix that. Oh, 
go with both my <laughs> That's the coming down is I don't know. I think it's harder on my joints. Cutting up is harder on my lungs, of course. Of course, of course. Trade off. But I already started thinking cheese pizza and a beer. So yes, that means my nausea is gone. If I want food. Guessed it. More steep down. Go on, buddy. Going down. That I spy. What is this? Seriously, I can barely walk out of this thing. People carried stuff up here. Wild. Wild. Poor life choice, this is how you get out. Whew. This part's definitely sad. This is why I don't mind the rain because it protects, protects the stuff that I love so much. One last big water crossing and we can we're almost back to our car after that. Not then we can. Last big water crossing. What? Cruise on in. Oops. <laughs> My legs are tired. <laughs> it's parking lot. There's the woo. Whew. Oh yeah. I'm ready to take these shoes off. It's crazy, buddy. You and I went all the way up there. Now we're tired. <laughs> it is post Ice Lakes Basin. Back in the car, my legs are tired. Oddly enough, my left ankle hurts. Weird. Um, I know I did an intro on the front end, but I was having trouble breathing and I was super anxious and nervous. So I'm going to kind of do an outro. Um, the road in here. Uh, passable by passenger car. Um, most of the cars that are here are off-road capable, but there's a minivan. So, um, and it rained like eight hours yesterday and it was still passable. So, um, I think all is good there. Um, 
the hike itself, um, it's Ice Lakes Basin. Um, so you can go to a couple different places, 3.3 um, to Ice Lakes, 4.8 to Fuller Lake, and I'm not sure about Island Lake. Um, it was 2,700 to Fuller Lake. Um, I clocked in at 2,450. So um, I did not go to Fuller Lake. I started feeling kind of nauseous around like 12.4, um, 12.5. Um, thousand foot elevation and I get kind of stumbly. Um, I actually didn't get stumbly near as quick as I did previously. So yay for training. Um, but I get stumbly and it doesn't get real safe. Um, so I just stopped at Ice Lakes, which was perfectly hard. I would say the first mile is cruisy. It is so easy that it gives you kind of a false sense of how easy it is. Um, after I would say mile two, it's just it's a suffer fast. Um, you have a beautiful like meadow that you go through, but otherwise it's a total suffer fast. Um, but it's so beautiful that you can't really suffer that bad. My hands are really dirty. Um, but anyways, so we did it. Um, I actually did it faster than I thought I was going to do. And I took my time coming down. Um, I always kind of take my time coming down just to enjoy the views and the sights that I don't really look at going up and we found the mine and we did the waterfall. Um, so, uh, my average pace was like 42 minute miles. Um, so coming down obviously a little bit quicker, but going up a little bit of suffer fest. Um, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with how my body did. I'm tired, but that's expected. Um, I'm happy that I'm slowly getting better at altitude. Um, I still struggle a lot with nausea and getting a little stumbly, um, but I tend to be able to make it through now and it didn't start till later. Um, previously, altitude sickness started at like 11.2 for me. So the fact that I got up to like 12.2 till I started feeling it, super cool. I wasn't hungry at all, which was a sign. Um, so anyways, we are done. We are headed into Silverton. Um, I'm plant-based, but I want a burger or pizza or maybe both. I don't know. He's passed out. Um, so anyways, I'm super, I'm just, I'm super happy. I did that. Um, you know, seeing people who were not as in shape as me or older than me going up it, I started kind of second guessing myself of like, why did it take you so long to be able to do this? But one, you don't, know how much somebody's suffering and I genuinely enjoyed myself for almost all of it. Um, you don't know if they make it. Um, you don't know if they've trained. Um, looks are deceiving. Um, so you have to just hike your own hike, train your own train, train your own fitness. Maybe that makes sense. And just do you. And I genuinely enjoyed almost every minute. There was like a three tenths of a mile and that sounds like not much but it was a brutal three tenths of a mile. But other than that, I genuinely, I had fun challenging myself and that is what I trained for. So I'm off to Silverton and we'll see you there.